I'll know right away. So does that mean he's watching Tanjiro through Nezuko? I wouldn't answer that if I were you. That sounded way more ominous than I meant it. <laughs> okay. Alright. So basically, if you're wondering why you're watching episode 7 and episode 6 hasn't come out, well, I fucked up. I messed up a little bit back there. Uh, what we did was we were doing a Discord call because, you know, scheduling. And uh, I forgot that I was recording both the anime audio and our voices on the same tracks throughout everything. So every single audio track shared both the audios that I wanted to use, which made it so copyright was a bitch. Yeah. Let's just say that. Um, it was, we had basically <laughs> like about two to three minutes of usable footage from the anime, and I did not want to do that. So basically what I did while editing is I wrote down the big points that we talked about. There's about five of them, I think. One, two, three, four, yeah, five, six. Six of them. Could be counting wrong still, but basically, like, the biggest things is, we're gonna take a few minutes here and talk about that, because, like, I don't want to leave the whole episode, like, ah, oh, you don't know what it was, yeah. but, like, you know, we, we talked about the, um, it basically was the start of his first mission, of course, getting to that new town. The first thing I noticed in the entire anime was, it says destroy on the back of his uniform, in Japanese, and the drip is just lit. I'm yeah. loving Immaculate. the drip. Imagine. And I also noticed how his backpack is the same as the one you get in Pokemon Sword Shield. Mm. Or in, like, one of the newer Pokemon Yes, games. I do remember you it's pointing that out. It's the exact same as that. Um, <clears throat> also, we joked about how, like, when Tanjiro was leaving Urodakashi's place, how Urodakashi was, again, the same waving as he did when he went to the Demon Test, to the final selection. Mm. Like, hey, he, you know, he could be dying again. Because, yeah. like, they insinuated with the Black Blade... You're not gonna go far, kid. You know what I mean? We also talked about how Tandro is his first student who's actually, like... Lived in decades. Yeah. Decades. Yeah, we, I mean, we don't have a specific time frame, but we know... Yeah. There have been a solid 13 students. I'm sure at first, so. like, he was, like, getting them in, like, pretty frequent order. But then once they all started dying, like, I'm guessing, like, this is just me assuming shit in, like, I my own head canon. But I'm guessing at, like, the fourth or fifth, he started being like, okay, I'm getting traumatized. Um, I need uh, to I stop for a while. I think you started taking longer and longer breaks as more and more died. You know uh, what I mean? Yeah, maybe. We also don't know how often the testing happens or anything. Mm. So it's been at least 13 years, probably. Or no, 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 no. no. It's been whoa, at least whoa, whoa, like whoa. half of that because they could do it every <clears> six <throat> months, like the tuning exam type shit. We can kind of estimate that it's been longer though because that demon's been in that thing for, yeah, for like 47 years. 47 or 37? 47. Okay. So it's probably. It's, it's been about 50 years he's been taking. Maybe, well, safer to say 40. Yeah. Is we also, know? like, we don't know how long he didn't send a student for. Yeah. It's a lot of stuff we don't know. So, like, it's a lot of headcanon stuff when we talk about that. But, like, you know, I still think it's interesting to talk about that stuff. Because his mentality is, like, at least a big part of this early story beat, you know? At least I believe it is, you know? His mentality of, like, the students and, like, dealing with all this and training him again. And, like, trusting him with his sister and stuff like that. And also, like, going into his sister and Urodakashi loved the fact that like he talked about the mental suggestion that he did on her um which was really interesting that like she literally now views people as her family like they showed in the previous episode that when she saw humans she literally it changed from their faces to her her brother and her right or her was, brother and uh, her sister. It was Tanjiro other, and someone yeah. else. It was, I think, the mother, maybe. Maybe. I don't, I don't remember. It looked it like was... younger her. To look, looks no, like younger I think, I think it was the mother, but I'm I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, I don't really remember. That part was quick. Yeah. And um, but like, and also that she now views Demon as the enemy. That's what she was told. However, I think there's another loophole in this where he also said that she, you know, ha dislikes demons that harms humans. So it's very possible that. You know, if a demon comes along that's never harmed a person like her, she might be accepting to that. You know, it's possible. It's also possible not. We'll Again, see. Mike making uh, faces. We'll we also talked about before, like when we got to this town, how what what era are we talking about here? We got electricity. We got what seems like the Japanese era of samurais. You know, we got a lot of things. Going. I guess samurais and electricity did kind of coexist for a little bit, and they still I, technically do to so this like, day. So, like, I mean. We can make assumptions based off of what the demon said. I mean, of, I think this, like what time period Edo it is. Period, yeah. But it like it just that seems doesn't like, add up with. I don't think that adds up with um, 
That might add up with electricity. I don't know enough about Japanese history and culture. Yeah, I mean, like, there's, like, modern-ish looking cars later. There's a train. There's Yeah, trains have been, like, 1800s, though. Yeah, but, I mean, like, there's electricity. But then, like, you look at, like, you know, there's, like, samurai running around. And, like, the villages look I think it's just, like, a mix of, like, the best of times. Yeah. Maybe, you know. I, I don't necessarily think it has a specific... It's a liberty that doesn't matter. Yeah. When you think I, about I don't it. think there's necessarily a, a specific year this takes place. I think it's probably just... Yeah. It, it's happening. It's a different universe. It's happening. Yeah. Don't worry about it too much. But it, it was a weird uh, observation. Just little, yeah. And, like, also, this new demon that we're fighting right now that's probably about to get killed, really cool that, like, the three versions of himself all have different personalities and almost perspectives on things. Yeah. Because, like, even different tastes. One was talking about, oh, she's 16. Every second that goes by, it gets worse. And the other one's like, I don't know. Every 16-year-old we've had is pretty damn good. Tastes pretty damn good to me. Yeah. Uh, I We don't know about the third one's opinion yet. Maybe neutral. I don't think he has opinions. I think he just grinds his teeth. Right, that that noise fucking yeah, sucks. Yeah, it yeah. hurts. Yeah. It genuinely hurts. Speaking of, I'll turn this down before we even get into it. <laughs> let's let's be smart about this, huh? Um also this is the one of the biggest things we talked about at the end, uh, at least I talked about, was the fact that at the start of the anime in episode one, we had the perspective of Tanjiro being a normal person, a normal citizen, not knowing about the demon slayers for the most part, or not knowing about their existence fully. Um, he knew about them, but he didn't know, or fully believe they existed, I'm assuming. But, he got the perspective of, wow, this guy's really fast, wow, this guy's really strong, and stuff like that. And now, with him helping the guy who was with the girl who vanished most recently, he was like, wow, he is fast. Wow, he can jump like that. Yeah. Wow, like, look at this guy. We are getting that perspective, but from the Demon Slayer side of it now, and I just don't know. I think that's a really cool, like, I don't even know if that was intentional by the story writing, but, like... It might have been. I think it's just a beautiful accident, if not. Like, absolutely yeah. beautiful. It just tickles me in a way that I love. Anyway, I think that's about it for, um... That's about, that's about five minutes of talking for the episode. That's not that bad. Yeah. About five to seven minutes. I think we pretty much did a decent little wrap-up. I think we're good yeah. to probably... I mean, everything in. that... Ha the only other thing that we can mention is that, like, it was really funny watching Nezuko kick the box open and spun the demon's head around, like, yeah. 13 times. Yeah. Like, that was just a real, like, nice. <laughs> nice. We love that. Again, I'm uh, one thing I, I should say now that we're talk going in the seventh episode discussion part. I am curious eventually to find out what like the little attribute of the black blade is, right? I so I don't. Not, you you don't think we ever really find out? Necessarily? Right, well, so I'm far. sure we do, but up maybe in to, the manga they know. Up to season two, we haven't really. Fig I have a lot of theories on quite a few things in this show but i uh, you know that they're... might be you know solidified already in the manga might not yeah and they're not things that i've like seeked out at all it's just little thoughts that i have in my yeah. own little brain that i'm like you know you've be... watched it yourself then you watched it with kaylee and, and now uh... i'm watching it with you and like i i'm not gonna go out of my way to seek out any of this information just because i don't trust online forums not to spoil yeah stuff. and even with spoiler warnings you can still be spoiled by like pictures or titles and shit like that yeah or even like youtube videos talking about stuff or yeah just something. randomly going off topic on something um but i do have some cool little theories in my head that i'd like to see how they play out and, and then maybe yeah. once i'm excited once like the season ending discussions are gonna be nice yeah especially once we finish season two i'm really excited i'm really excited for you to be caught up all the way through season two so that we can like discuss Theorize theories because i feel like we have some off the wall theories that we come up with it with anime and i feel like there'd be some cool stuff to talk about with this yeah and then some comments would be nice and by the time season two's you know rolling around but hopefully this season two's already out no i meant for us getting to oh it. Right, right right um I'm, I'm hoping we get a bit more you know a bit more commenters you know that'd be nice to get some discussions going in the comments non-spoilery though so that's a big worry up until then. But at the end of the season two, we're going to have great discussions in the comments, hopefully, is what I'm trying to get at. Yeah. Still a little loud. <laughs> what a lovely noise. Right, the kick, yeah. <laughs> I guess I don't need to include a picture for what I was talking about earlier. Yeah, we have the, uh... We have the video. Right I love the little growl she does like a fucking cat. She's such a fucking savage. And the fact that she doesn't even talk. I just hear a little growl going on in the background. Oh. She, then she gets the Byakugan, bro. With the veins. <laughs> That's exactly what I was. I've been wondering what that reminds me of. Yeah. And I fi it finally clicked. Just hit, yeah. yeah. Um, 
oh, this episode's going to have that scene that I was saying would make a cool tattoo that uh, I really want tattooed. Yes, hopefully, unless you're wrong again. No, I looked it up. Okay. Okay. Just to make sure you're not wrong again. Yeah. Hey, at least I wasn't included. No one would have known you'd been wrong about it if we didn't bring it up. Uh, you know, I'm a big enough man to admit when I'm wrong. <laughs> Even when it doesn't matter. Even when it does not matter. This is so funny. Oh. <laughs> Jumpy jump. He's looking at her like, what? <laughs> a demon can jump? Demons don't know how to jump. Yeah. That's not in the training course or yeah. the handbook. It's not necessarily so. Yeah, it's true. Also, can we still please stop changing where the subtitles are all the time? Yeah. Gross. Let's go. All right. Swing and a miss. <laughs> they were definitely closer when he swung, and then they jumped to like his perspective. Of course you can. Yeah, look at that. I love her. Because she's a strong, independent woman who don't need no man. But kind of, she kind of need him. Yeah, a little, little bit. A little bit. <laughs> the demon's like, he could do that? I'd be so shocked if he just followed me down there. I'd be like, what? what? The fuck? <laughs> no one's willingly done that before. I, I didn't know that was possible. Get out of my swamp. What Honest, are you doing in me swamp? Genuinely. <laughs> oh, yeah, ooh. Ooh. Ugh. Tragic. He, it's not a clean swamp. No. I was to say that's an oxymoron, but no, you can have a clean swamp. Look at Shrek's swamp. It's, it's tidy cool. and put together. Yeah, sure. Tidy, okay. Yeah, he has, yeah everything's in the house. <laughs> we are make we always make jokes when they're talking about the murders. Like the tragicness <laughs> of how brutal these are. And we we're also, always like, Shrek swamp. <laughs> we also don't pause. <laughs> like we said we were Yeah, I know. But it's just easier, you know. <laughs> we talk so much shit, we're like, we're gonna pause. It gives me less um to edit. That's fair. He can never sneak up on anyone. Literally. Think back to all the time you got hit in the face by pebbles, and then they were real knives. No more room to mess up because they were aimed at his skull. Well, he's talking about the, the breathing. Ah, oh, right. Like the, it, there's like no air. Yeah. In the water. Now you gotta cut their heads off. Yeah. Oh, never mind. Does that count as the sword cutting it? It does, right? I would assume so. I think he, yeah, but he only got one of the heads, I think. Well, it looks like he tore both of them to shreds. Maybe. That is very possible. Yep, yep, yep. yep. There they go. What happens to the other one? Is he still alive? Uh, yeah. What happens if they all die and what happens to the swamp? I think it just kind of, like, stops existing. Like, this is a plane of his. That's what like... I'm saying. What happens if the other one dies while he's in there? Well, he can't. Nesco no, the other one fighting Nezuko. Nezuko can't kill him. Why not? She oh, she doesn't have a sword. sword. Okay, that's still counting. Come on. Bop. Ooh. A little bit lower next time, Nezuko. They got a weak spot, I think, still. Bink. Bop. Yeah, she's powerful. She hasn't even eaten anyone. She's got beaten the brakes off this dude. Any morphing skills yet? She could. He could feed her blood? Interesting. Oh, uh, you'll find out what he means. It's really interesting that, you know, how is she so powerful without having eaten anyone? So, that was huge foreshadowing. Like, you'll understand how the demon okay. thing works more later. <laughs> Said, yeah, I hit her once. And then Tanjiro's coming. Oh. And slice. Quick slice. Come on. Hey. Why are you go why are you wasting time? I just go for the neck, bro. Makes him a little easier to fight. Oh wait, he wants information. Yep. You guys suck. Interesting. And it bubbles like oil. How are you trying to reason with a human? <laughs> what is the name like Voldemort? When you say it, he knows where you are. It's either he dies or he dies, I'm guessing. You know, you tell him, 
you die. You don't tell him, you die. Either way, it's probably by Tanjiro. He's not going to let it live. Even if he tells him. I mean, I think if there was a demon that was willing to reason with him and, like, talk to him... This one would go him. straight back to killing people. Yeah, that's fair. I feel like Tanjiro would at least make that assessment. I'll know right away. So does that mean he's watching Tanjiro through Nezuko? I wouldn't answer that if I were you. That sounded way more ominous than I meant it. <laughs> yeah, I think he got that the first 40 times you said it. Beautiful. Is it not this episode? Oh my god, I think it's like not this episode. <laughs> I checked. Shut the fuck up, David. <laughs> I wouldn't say that if I were you, David. <laughs> I if it's not in this episode, it, which it's not, I know exactly when it is now. I just I don't being... trust your information. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Are you gonna explain to the other people that she's a demon, or do they get that already? Can't just tell people that. He is traumatized. Oh, absolutely. Why are you putting her in a box, he says. <laughs> you just put a woman in a box. She's sleepy, don't worry about it. Smack. You okay there? I don't want to smack you with my dick while I'm walking by. <laughs> hey, yo. He was right at dick level. That's fair. You got a new one right there. <laughs> He lost everyone, bro. Should be hitting in the where, where do you think his family is? Huh? Literally. You think his mom's letting him do this? Why do you think a child is a demon slayer? <laughs> Which one? Which one was it? It's the big bow. Ah. Uh, yeah, thank him at least. There you go. Now you hit it. Damn, I was kind of a piece of shit to this guy. Yeah, and he only showed you kindness. Oh, there you go. You put. Doesn't the village think he like murdered his wife? Yeah, not a great flex. That's what I'm thinking. Some like random lady. I would. I would have stayed. You know. Yeah. I guess or... Tanjiro doesn't know that necessarily. Like yeah. it was flashbacks in that dude's head. That's fair. <laughs> Imagine the big payoff arc at the end is just he forgives him. I hope not. I'd that would pissed. be trash. Talk no jutsu. <laughs> no rest for the wicked, am I right? <laughs> I love this bird. I hope it doesn't get me copyright struck. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Why does he look like, uh... Salad fingers. Oh my god, no! <laughs> Is that, isn't that the same dude who, like, the killing you with the spoon video? I like rusty same spoons. Yeah. With the, he's green with the... Yeah. Oh my god, that thing was gross. I hated that. Do you have money? Do you get paid for slaying demons? Does the crow give you money? I'm not a big udon guy. Really? Yeah, I'm not a fan of the texture of the noodles. What? Oh. You just... Whoa! Dude. You got the smelly smell. I know, but like... Smelled smelly. No man on earth drops a bowl of food. Just, uh... I'm just saying. Wait until you find out why. I'm assuming it's the demon that killed his family. I'm purposely not looking at your face. Don't leave your sister! <laughs> Why are we getting here that fast? It's really him. I don't know if I expected it completely. <gasps> Ask his name at least. This shit's crazy. Like, <laughs> My go-to strategy right now would be like, I'm sorry, I thought I knew you. What's your name? That's what I'd go for, but I guess he's too flustered right now. Yeah. 
Does he not have the fingernails? What is he? Yep, there's a How do you not notice the fingernails? <laughs> Did you just turn that man into a demon? Yep. I thought he had to get his blood in him. That's what the fingernails are for. Well, I thought he had to get his own... He's got injecto nails. Oh. So he's getting rid of Tanjiro with the distraction. I wonder how many times this has happened around him and his wife. And his wife is just like, oh my god, again? I don't think this has ever had to happen in the way that it just happened. Probably. I, yeah, I guess that goes back to the theory of, or proving your point that no one else really has the smell skill. Yeah, it's even Orodakashi, like, who could smell. I guess people can smell like the intense yeah, no, emotions think, on people. I think he has the same like th thing. Just that, not to the level. No, I think it's on the same level. Probably. Really? Probably, if anything, his is probably better because he's trained it more. Maybe. Um, but it's not like a common thing. Like the whole reason the guy in the beginning sent him to that guy is because he was like, "You guys have, like, you and this kid have like a super similar ability." Well, he didn't outright really say that in the note. Yeah, he did. I'm pretty sure. He, I'm almost positive he did. I mean, I'll probably edit in a picture of the note and say whether. Yeah, or not. I'm almost. Although the positive. note was in Japanese, probably. I, I think they that. probably translated it. Yeah, I and mean, it'll be in the dialect. subtitles. Yeah. But yeah, no, I mean, next episode, I'm expecting, uh, A, we're going to be dealing with the demon in the city. Um, he left his sister at the Udon stall. So God forbid a random demon slayer pops up with the Literally. same mission. Yeah. And he's like, oh, hey, a demon. That's that's the one. Yeah. Shlink. Yeah. Like, that's all it takes. Is, is some, you, you, we need to send a message throughout all the crows. Like, hey, we got a new demon slayer. His, his sister's a demon. But she's cool. Oh no, we can't talk about that. Right, because every other team slayer would be, no, we're killing that. We'll, we'll get there. Yeah, I, but that's what I'm assuming that everyone's initial reaction would be like, you haven't killed it? Yeah. And it's like, that's my sister. And it's like, no, it's not, not anymore. It's like, yeah, we went over this with a couple demon slayers already, my G. I won every time, so calm down. Yeah. And Urodakashi put mental suggestion on her on top of it. So, fuck you. Who the fuck is that? <laughs> there, are, I feel like most people, most of them would know Rodakashi, right? Nah, I think he's he is, like I, one of the guys that's probably like the I older dudes. I think he is notable. I think he was. Uh, well, I feel like the trainers are going to be well known amongst the demon slayers because they need to know who they can send people to, right? Well, there's also just like a like a top rank, like S rank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they did go over the ranks, but like, like, I think the rank that the, is important that I'm talking about. I don't think they mention in that. Yeah, you, you mentioned that at the time. List. I think this is like a rank that like isn't talked about. These are like the S rank, tippity top. Like these are the dudes, like yeah. them boys out there killing demons. Like these guys are the fucking upper echelon. Like when you have the main do demon dude to fight that Tanjiro just found, those dudes. That's who you send. Ah, uh, yeah. We're gonna find. Except out the uh, skill gap is kind of wild throughout all of this, so. I mean, I'm assuming that, like, that slash that he just did, no one could see but Tanjiro and him. Like, I'm assuming yeah. that was, like, anime, like, speed type shit. Probably. Like, that's what I'm assuming. Like, they, I remember, like, they confirmed that the theory about Dragon Ball, um, Frieza versus Goku, like, people theorized, no, it is five minutes, it's just They're anime moving time. so fast, we had to slow it down. Yeah, like, yeah. that's exactly what they, I, I'm guessing they went with that, obviously. Yeah, that's, like, a huge, like, an out, you know? Yeah, that's, it's like, like, the biggest out you could have ever gotten. Yeah, we totally animated this fight to be 40 fucking minutes. But, like, minutes it also since, makes sense. Okay, so what's the, so can, uh, we get the, the math breakdown on that? Like, I don't know, like, someone's done it, though. You I'm know, sure You know the has. Dragon Ball community, someone Yeah, somebody in that. the community has, but, like, have the people for Dragon Ball put any thought into it, or did they just, like, go... I'm sure they read what the community already had up. They didn't have to yeah. come up with any of it. They yeah. just had to be like, oh, which one's well, actually that's, right? Well, that's what I'm saying. I feel like that probably wasn't the thought going into it. Oh, no, definitely not, but, like, I also feel like it's not even a bad thing to even add. It doesn't even feel that scapegoatish because, like, it... It, makes it almost feels like it should be intended. Yeah, that's fair. Maybe. But, like, I just love the meme that Frieza doesn't know what minutes is. Yeah. He's just kind of trying to relate uh, to the Earth time. Which are different years. I mean, unless habitable planets tend to have the same rotation speed. Yeah, well, it depends on their size and mass. But, like, and a lot of other factors. We don't need to talk about science. We need to end this. We're way off topic. Yeah, you need to get going. It's 8 <laughs> o'clock already. Fair. Um, I do hope you guys enjoyed. And, again, I'm sorry about episode 6. It was completely my fault throughout the entire way. I should have noticed what the issue was, but I didn't. Um, and I hope you guys, uh, enjoyed. I feel like we got a good amount to look forward to next episode, because he's in Tokyo, or at least a sec section of Tokyo, yeah. with a demon on the loose. And he's gonna have to explain that that dude's actually the demon of demons, and I don't know. 
I would have literally, like, I just still think he should have asked, like, is your name blah, 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 to make this dude shit Oh, he things. already knows. He already knows. They they all Well, are... no, what I'm saying is, is I would have asked to get the confirmation to be like, I know who, like, for Tanjiro, I'd be, like, telling him, like, this is me telling you subtly that I know what you are. Oh, he I'm knows, just he not knows. saying it. I know, I'm just, I'm just, like, I'd make it obvious, obvious. Hmm. If I was Tanjiro, I would just ask it, because, like, I can't tell he knows he knows in real life. Yeah. I'm dumb when it comes to social yeah. situations. I need to add that extra layer, but yeah. Um, hope to catch you next time. Uh, see you guys later. Bye.